Welcome to Dance Mogul Magazine. We are live in North Carolina, and we are at the Elements Dance Convention, and can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Uh, my name is Robert Crumbine. I'm the Chief Creative Officer for Charlotte Center City Partners, and we do all the big events in uh, downtown Charlotte. Wow, okay, so can you give us some background information in terms of how you even got involved in all of this? Well, uh, I'm a musician. That's okay. the, that's, that starts it right there. Uh, uh, saxophone player, uh, went, to the, went to the U, got to represent. Uh, and uh, I, I always, uh, always was involved in uh, music and production and decided to get on the other side of the checkbook, so to speak. So uh, I like being the producer. I like coming up with the ideas and um, have been doing uh, uh, big shows for corporate clients uh, throughout the world, uh, produce some really big uh, uh, tours, uh, um, uh, things for the President of the United States, uh, um, halftime shows, uh, the, the, whole, the whole gamut. And uh, I'm in Charlotte now, I've been in Charlotte for about 25 years. Uh, it's a, just a great city, it's growing, uh, it's a it's very thoughtful place to be. Uh, and we can do some really amazing things here uh, at the same level, same quality as any place else and that's what's exciting because I can do it right here in Charlotte I don't have to be in New York I don't have to be in LA wow. I know I can produce some really amazing here things. in Charlotte how did you move from uh, the satisfaction of being a musician to now orchestrating and organizing things like of this scale well you, you use the right word orchestrating you know I'm, I'm still I'm still the conductor so I get to be behind the scenes I get to uh, dream up the big ideas um, I love seeing uh, the audience uh, reacting, and uh, that's you know I'm, I'm, I like to be that magician in the background. I, I really don't uh, care too much about being out front. Uh, I, I, in fact, I just did an event last night where uh, you know everybody wanted to keep pulling me up front. I'm like, no, I'm I'm fine. You guys are having a good time. That's what you should be doing, and and that's what makes me happy. So I, I think you know when you're a musician, you're you're trying to give something uh, of yourself. Uh, it's kind of a it's it's part of your soul, right? Uh, dancers, musicians, artists in general. That's what that's what it's about. I think what I'm doing here is my own form of art. Um, I produce big events and things for people to to pick their one little piece out. What is it going to make them happy? And you know, our big thing and the thing that we're doing here today with Elements is uh, we do the Thanksgiving Day Parade here in Charlotte. Uh, we took that over three years ago. Uh, it is a, a 69 year old parade. Um, it's, I have no fear of any other parade. I believe that I can make this parade as good as anything that people have seen out there. Uh, and I'm taking on the big boys in New York. Wow, that, that's pretty amazing when I think about the scale of what you're doing. What I wanted to talk about is that scale. There's something to be said about your work and how it connects with people. And you seem to have a genuine passion to have your work or the things that you put together really connect with people when you talk about Thanksgiving and just festivities. There's a spiritual kind of connection there where people appreciate that the artistic sense of what you're doing. Yeah, I th you know I feel like I'm a painter or a sculptor or I mean that's it's it's all to me it's all the same world. Um, it's it's part of me giving something that I want people to um, to take a piece of it away. And uh, if it's a parade, then how do I design the greatest parade that I can put possibly up, put on the street um, that has meaning for people? From the little children who were waiting to see, you know, the clowns and Santa Claus, to the adults that came out because they want to be entertained and they want to, they want to have those memories, you know, uh, uh, and and those feelings that are going to kind of kick off the holiday season. So I try to create something that's not just, okay, we're just gonna put marching bands and then a float and we're gonna, no, we really are, we, we spend time and effort. I mean, it, it takes us a year to produce this one two hour event. Um, and as soon as we're done with this one, we'll st step back, look at what we did right, look what we did wrong and start working on the next one. And that's how it works. You just keep going, you keep trying to raise that, that level, uh, uh, raise the bar, so to speak. Yeah. So this Thanksgiving that's coming up, what can they expect? Oh, it's it's going to be exciting. We uh, we I actually created a, a, a I guess it's a it's a special uh, unit in the parade that we call a segwaloon, where uh, we take a, a Segway and we wrap it with a balloon that's designed to look like a snowman, uh, an elf. Uh, uh, we've got pumpkins. We've got all kinds of 
crazy things. And they move down the street, you don't know how they're going because you can't see any of the actual mechanics to it. So we've created a bunch of new ones uh, this year. Um, we've got dance, which is again why we're here. We're, you know, we, we opened the show with a big dance number. Uh, we have several places throughout the, the actual event. Uh, we've got young performers. Uh, we've made Charlotte uh, the place for young talent to be showcased. Um, it's a two-hour television show, so we're able to take that talent and put them in front of an audience for a 90-second clip and, you know, let them show their best. And so we go out and look for that young talent that's really just needs that little bit of extra, you know, something that's going to put them in front. And uh, so we'll have, uh, we'll have have a dozen performers, different folks. We've actually got a young man from uh, Greenville, South Carolina, who was a uh, finalist on America's Got Talent. Uh, Benton Blount is his okay. name. And what's a great story about, behind that is we called him when he, he made it onto the show and said, we want you in the parade. And his, uh, his manager was, you know, people don't know. I mean, they, they don't know what they don't know, right? And he says, I've got to be in that parade. That is the parade. When he was a young man in high school, he marched in the parade, in the marching band. So how exciting. <laughs> Talk about marching bands. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm a band guy, so I want bands. I mean, yes. my, my parade has to have great bands. Yes. And this is a parade that maybe had not the best bands in the, in the past. So we went out and looked for, for great bands. Well, so excited this year, we've got TSU, oh, the, right. yeah, the, the aristocratic bands coming to march in this parade, 250 members. Wow. They're gonna open the show. I mean, they're gonna come down the street. How many blocks long? Uh, blocks? Our parade is about a mile long. Wow. So um, yeah, the, <laughs> when that band goes down, it's probably gonna take up a few blocks at a yeah. time. Uh, but it's going to be exciting to see them. We've also got the Marine uh, Division's own uh, marching band, which is uh, only second to the President's own. Uh, the, the base here? Yeah, it's actually out of uh, uh, Cherry Point. Okay. It's coming in. So, uh, so it's exciting. We've got about 16 marching bands, uh, great schools from around the region. Uh, we, you know, the, the parade just keeps growing. Every year, another notch, a little bit bigger, a little bit more. Uh, we're streaming live. We have an app this year. Uh, I really want the kids to, to, to get more involved. You know, the young ones are easy, but when you get to that certain age where it's not so much of a big deal to go to a, who wants to go to a parade? I've got this app now that they can actually interact, uh, win prizes, do things, because if their head is stuck down here, they're not seeing what's going down. Exactly. But guess what? I can give them exactly what they want to see, yes. and I can Through still the capture app. them. Yeah. Wow. And that's what I was going to ask you next. How does the community find out about you know what they have to look forward to? Are you streaming it on a website or is it going to come through the app? Yeah, well, you can actually watch the parade. You can actually see every show, every performance, everything that's happening right on your app, uh, because we'll be streaming live from the the main performance location. Uh, so people can see it through there. They can download the app. It's free. It's located on uh, iPhone, uh, iTunes, and uh, uh, Android. Uh, on Google, but is it, is it on the city? Um, it's a, it's just it's website? just Novant. Yeah, it's also on our Novant Thanksgiving Day Parade uh, website. Um, all the information about the parade is there too. You can learn about who the the honorary marshals are, or the performers, or the dancers, or uh, the marching bands. Um, you get to see pictures of the floats, and you'll really know a lot about this parade before it happens, so that you sort of have this connection already. You can start to understand. The other big thing for us is is volunteers. You can't yes, do a parade yes. of this size without the community really stepping up. And um, we've got about a thousand volunteers. We call it the uh, Order of the Wishbone. And uh, we bring those folks together. They uh, dress up in costumes. They uh, carry balloons. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they uh, they help marshal the parade. They, they do things behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, Big deal for us. And how, that's can what they really how can the volunteers get involved? You know, what's great is we have, yes, it's paradevolunteer.com. How about that? Just for here. It, wow. it, it, we got that. I don't know how we got that URL, wow. but paradevolunteer.com. You can sign up, and uh, it's it's a great opportunity. We're trying to get groups because the more groups that do this, yes. uh, you know, when your friends want to go out and do something, you're coming along. Yes. And we thought, well, you know, wouldn't it be great if Thanksgiving morning became a tradition for yes. groups of people, yes. families, yes. and yes. folks that just said, we're going to do this parade every Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We're done by noon. We go out and still do all the family it things. It could but be groups of family. It could be it. groups of volunteers that's providing other work. services. You got it. College students, anybody that's in groups that, that are already mobilized can come that's and exactly contribute. Right. Yeah, and then you get to bring your piece because then yes. you can dress up the way you want to. You can have you know your little little bit in the parade, uh, and that's what makes it 
that's what makes it more about the community, more about the region. It really yeah. showcases who we are. Wow, that's amazing. And in closing, mm -hmm. um, people, especially young kids, they always have such a, a grand experience at a parade and, and at these entertainment functions that you are a part of putting together or responsible for. And what I would like to know is, how can they identify that quality within themselves so that if when they when they are in amazement of the, the parade and just the whole thing, how can they identify within themselves if they want to do what you're doing when they get older? You know what? I, I it, it might be trite, and a lot of adults say this to young people all the time. You know that, that you can do anything you want to do and and follow your dreams and all that, but it's not trite. It's it's true, and and it's really about it's it's always listening to that little inner voice that's telling you this is where you want to go this is what you should be doing and and really taking that take a hold of that and take it to the next to the next place um, you know I, I was a, I was an only child um, I had a great family uh, but you know you're you're kind of you do your things right you're by yourself you sort of figure things out I always knew that I wanted to do something musician more. you were providing a service through the arts exactly I mean I, I started playing I started playing I told you when I was very very young I mean I was uh, probably I don't know second third grade you know the recorder everybody gets one of those well it just so happens that I thought it was important so I enjoyed it I played it I would get in front of audiences and play make mistakes do whatever it is mm -hmm. you just learn there's just that part of me that always said I can do it, I see other people doing it, nothing's going to stop me from doing it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Well, that's what I would tell kids. Don't, don't wait, please don't wait for somebody to do it for you because it's not going to happen that way. I mean, it's just not going to be um, coming, somebody coming along and handing you that job or that opportunity. It doesn't happen that way. I mean, once in a, in a lifetime for somebody. You got to take it and go and make it happen. That's why these kids are here today. Yes. You know, they're out there because they want to learn, they want to learn from the best, and they're going to take control of their lives and they're going to go do something with it. Um, and that's it, it makes me proud to be a part of this because it's an opportunity to show them and educate them. Um, we need more kids that are doing these kind of things because yes. if we were things would be uh, Send, a whole uh, lot better. Yes. The message the message to say here is you got to take control of your own destiny. Yes. I mean, you got to do it. Yes, and the arts can lead to a life of service like Absolutely. it did for you and like it did for me. So is, in closing, is there anything that you would like, um, you know, for the audience to know or anyone to know in closing? You know, I just I just love what I do. I want people to love what they do. Uh, I want people to understand that it it's it's part of being a it's part of being a human. Yes. You know, it's part of that piece that we can bring. Um, there's the, it brings cultures together. It brings people together. There's no color. There's no there's no uh, there's no mo it's not about money. It's not about any of that. It's just because we're we're just people, and we should all be able to 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 dig what each other are doing and understand it and and give our piece into it because we all got something to offer yeah we just got to figure out what that is and you know what's funny is we all know what that is yeah but a lot of times we don't want to listen to it yeah so call it god call it faith call it you can call it whatever you want to do somewhere inside of every one of us we have something that's telling us this yeah. is where we should go yeah follow it yeah follow it don't be afraid of it thank you that's exactly what we needed we appreciate you yeah it was great